What shaking print fam? Um, if you're new, I'm Cam. Welcome to the print life. Let's roll the credits. It's October 24th, 9.30 a.m. So I'm opening about a half hour early. Uh, the agenda, the agenda. A couple different things. I gotta start being more careful with the, uh, the companies that I feature because I have been told by a reliable source that people are watching my videos, people I know, and then like poaching the clients. So I gotta be careful about what I show. I always knew that I needed to be but then I was like, nah, it ain't like that. Nah, people won't do that. Turns out they do, and they will. And I, I guess I also bring that up as a warning to you guys. Not that you don't already know this, but be careful what clients you put out socially because we st there's your, your competitors are out there trying to poach them. I'm going to start setting some stuff up. A few episodes ago, I talked about how I felt like uh, everyone was just being a bunch of babies and just press fine. Well, I went to set up just a two color job on the Sidewinder yesterday. And like, no matter what I do, I cannot get it perfect. I'm not sure what it is, but I am gonna take a second to see if I can get this damn job in registration. So let's do it. waiting for the flash to heat up a uh, little ball bearing that clicks these these pallets into position like the positioner or whatever you call it it's a little clicky so I'm gonna just apply a little bit of grease to it yeah. Fingers crossed, applesauce. Make my dreams come true. Ah, uh, looks right on the registration marks, but it's just a little off over there. Let's try it again. Damn it. So now things are starting to work out the way that I had hoped. I just got off the phone with a potential client who found me through the YouTube channel. Now those were the original clients I was going after, but to get views I had to start tagging all my videos with screen print this and you know, screen printer that and t-shirt printing. So what ended up happening is a lot of screen printers found my channel. Now it's moving past that and potential clients are finding the channel. Any of y'all heard of this stupid fucking game? I think it's called Last on Earth. It is so goddamn hard it's, it, and it's super aggravating. Oh, no. This box just came in. It was beat to shit, but it looks like all the shirts are here. Jesse just got to the shop, so he's doing his morning uh, cleanup and screen cleaning and all that shit. And I'm making a drink run for us. There you go. Right, we're going to show you another technique where I load, 
he does the prey, he does the flash, and then we do a, a, uh, a two-heads-down approach for wet on wet. You'll see. Does this, does this have all of them at 2.5? Yeah. Okay. All right, now Jesse's gonna do a double hit of white. While he's doing that, I go stack the shirts. But there are none yet. So Jesse just has to do the double hit of white. job I've ever done. I don't think that's the case for Jesse though. The last stretch is where all something always goes wrong. This time we had ink season the yellow screen. I shit you not on the last six. The second layer of white released from the first layer of white into the yellow here. So wherever the yellow hit it seized into the yellow screen and then when I went to lift it it pulled that shit out. I didn't let the white cool down long enough after coming out from under the flash but that's the kind of stupid shit that happens on the last six shirts all right got the backs printed now we're gonna start the front um uh, hopefully that gave you some insight in how you can use two people on a all heads down manual press to print a little faster which is what we did especially those backs that's like a what was that five uh, yeah, four color, but we had to hit the white twice, so five hits. We were able to speed it up drastically just by doing the all heads down thing. Now, not every press can do that, but hopefully, if yours can, you should take advantage of it. Even if you're not technically doing all heads down, just having one person do it and then the other do it immediately after and then loading for each other and unloading for each other still speeds up the process a lot. So try those things out. Two colors, burgundy and white. Let's get it started. You guys saw me struggling with the setup on this one this morning, but it looks like I finally got it. However, I have not decided if this fucking thing is going in the trash or not yet. I'm gonna do a couple more setups and we'll see. If I had to guess, with these bolts here, that come up through here, up to here, I think that they're bent slightly so that when you tighten it down, uh, the head that this that this head is attached to this and when you tighten this down it shifts it ever so slightly one way or the other that seems to be the issue i don't know if you guys remember a few vlogs back i told you my business credit card got stolen well it's been like over two weeks i still haven't gotten it so this is the mail let's see if it's here if it's not here there's cause for worry i need to call again No. No. Okay. Uh, yeah. Sup, bro? Well, thank you so much, Jim. All right, bye bye. Okay. Well, they did send it, so I don't know where the fuck it went. Either way, they're sending a new one, which means they'll have a new number, so that one is now no good either. Anyway, let's get back out to the shop. I'm gonna play this uh, quick round on this video game, and then I'm gonna go start setting up a five color job. There's only like 12 pieces too, so God damn it.
Last one. seem a little sporadic because I'm, I'm bouncing between setting up the screens, stacking the shirts, uh, printing out films, and burning screens. So it may look like I'm all over the place. Now I'm gonna go to the office for a second cause a little something something came in the mail. Let's see what it is. So instead of opening it, I just wrote open on camera to make sure that I open this on camera. So let's open it on camera. Fusion 180 has sent me samples without asking me or emailing me or requesting that I do any sort of reviews. That's what I'm talking about. So what colors do we got here? We got opaque white. Uh, we got minty green. Ooh, we got some bright gold shimmer. Cool. So pretty nice variations here. Thank you Fusion 180 for the samples. I appreciate you sending it without asking me to do a review. Uh, and to the rest of you manufacturers, keep sending the stuff if you want to get in on the, uh, the video reviews. Alright. Feeling pretty good about it. Got this four color job set up. It looks like he's about to wrap up uh, the job that we set up earlier this morning. The more I've been thinking about it with that uh, white ink review I did a while ago, it's a bit unfair because I was comparing poly uh, low cure ink to just like traditional cotton white ink so what I want to do now is do the fusion 180 white versus I noticed that will flex lava has now got a low cure option so those two are just asking to go head to head and see which one comes out on top I do have something coming up it's a graphic that I just had illustrated by this badass cartoonist and that project, I'm going to utilize all water-based, uh, whatever that is, Green Galaxy from Ryanet. So there's going to be a water-based white, double hit, and then there's basically three other colors. So I'm going to see if you can pull off, let's just say, 36 of them on a manual press with all the print, flash printing. Try to do the whole thing and see if the, it can be done by a single person. My experience in the past is four colors of water-based anything. You get about 12 garments deep and things start drying, things start falling apart. It's very hard to pull off. I'm gonna test it this time with them and see how it goes. Well, you'll see the graphic when it comes time to do that episode. And also, with those four colors, I'm gonna be filming it, which makes it even harder. I'm gonna go get a drink. You want some? What do you want? Gatorade?
Oh shit. Yeah, gross. Thanks, brother. I don't know what happened. <laughs> it's 3 27 p.m um we're gonna try to pull like a sprint and try to get the last two jobs done that we well one two Three different jobs done before 7 p.m. today. That way we are free and clear for the upcoming stack of jobs that we gotta get done for the rest of the week. See what you're doing, Amory. Oh yeah, you're a good bird, huh? What are you doing? Say hi, but say hi, what, uh, what, 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 what are you doing, dude? We like to make sure that before we start any water-based job, that we delint the pallets and then apply a fresh coating of water-based adhesive to prevent lift, because water-based ink lifts the garments like a motherfucker. Jesse. That's it? Alright, hit it brother. Alright. Alright, that's it for today's episode. Thanks for hanging with me. Uh, make sure to take care of yourselves, Prep fam. Peace out. Oh, oh wait a minute. Don't forget to turn the lights off.